How's it going, everyone? It is Monday, November 11th, 2024. Let's get into the pick from the last video, which was Tesla as a day trade long. So that was the D1 chart when the video came out. Today, Tesla is up. Let's see the setup here in the video. So market was mildly bullish this day. And I liked Tesla on a uh, pullback. So we have this pullback over here. We're compressing, compressing, compressing. And I wanted to see the stock start to break out of that compression. Um, and that's what we got at 105. So right around here. So uh, market was mildly bullish. Um, Tesla was flagging very, very strongly. We're through this kind of minor downward sloping trend line, right? That was breached. This is breached. This is breached. So um, stock pulled back, held above VWAP, just hugging that 8 EMA. And then when 1OP is flat and the stock is flat, this compression just tells you to wait out. And when we get that break of a direction, this is a very tight compression. And we get a nice break. That's when I took the position. That's when I added. And then I scaled out uh, kind of around over here. I think I scaled out here and then maybe like 320, yeah, 324, 325-ish is around where I scaled out. Um, so that ended up being a very, very nice trade. And you can see how well that kind of synced up with the one uh, OP cross. A couple of things. We had the buy signal above the priority high. This is a very strong move on volume. This is actually some D1 resistance on Tesla. Uh, we're obviously through that. Stock has made a very powerful move in the last couple of days. Um, so I got a really far back here. I think it's from here. Yep, right over here. That's your D1 resistance. So stock broke through there. I need to see it test that level around 312-ish. That's kind of where it was. So I needed to see it test that level. And um, after that test, it held. And then I wanted to see some relative strength, which I did see. Uh, and then it was just a matter of waiting for this move to begin. And then that's when I got in the trade. So good pick, uh, good entry, nice win on Tesla. The other position we have right now is team. Uh, team is up very, very nicely. So we got, I got in, um, I got in two trading days ago, right around 230, 233.80. I got in on. Uh, then stock has rallied and is continuing to fill in the gap. So we have the gap fill here. Now it is a pretty choppy stock. So I think when it starts, you can see it makes it makes a really nice move, and then it'll start to compress a little bit. So if the, I'll watch to move, I'll kind of watch to see how the move compresses here. Um, it might flag out for a little bit of time. We do also have a market tailwind, so you know I think. It's this sort of move is a little bit less likely when you know stock's not really doing a whole lot. Um, so I like it. it is a little choppy, but um, I think we have a pretty good chance to test this all time high. And I suspect that we might start to flag out somewhere over here. We start hits a little bit of resistance. The move is going to get a little tired. So that's kind of my bias here. I think we have a good chance at filling in this gap. We might pause, maybe pull back a little bit the next couple of days. Um, but I like what I see in um, in team over here. And uh, I'm looking to see if I need to add to the position today. Um, and I'm going to explain this. Um, probably let me get to the market first. And then I'm going to explain why I am considering adding to team today. So uh, longer term basis here. Look, we're bullish fundamentally. We are bullish technically. I'm just going to pull up uh, the outlook here. So again, still fundamentally, right? Nothing has changed much. Inflation's uh, CPI is coming out later today, but otherwise, not a crazy high um, week of news. Retail sales is also coming at end of the week on the uh, economic outlook. Uh, technically, right? We had that cup and handle. We got the breakout, heavy volume above all the SMAs. We got momentum. We got some seasonality. Um, I did not spell follow through correctly. So um, we got a lot of things going for us. Now on a short-term technical basis, um, I'm a little bit more mildly bullish right now. And we have a nice breakout and follow through. 
uh, just watching for any sort of little bit of a dip here, right? This is the first red day, nothing crazy, but we did get a little bit of a dip. And um, I just want to see where we end up finding support. So how do we know when the tide has changed? Well, let's zoom into this intraday chart here. Um, past couple of days, look at this. We had bullish, this is bullish market gap and go. Test the, low, test the low very early in the day, close on the high. Here's the low, right? Close near the high. Here's the low of the day, right? We get our first crack. We close near the high, but this is the first crack here, right? This is the first crack that says, hey, a little bit of volume in the trend and not much going on today. Bank holiday, uh, lighter volume. We got a gap up. We actually tested 600, finally hit 600. There's going to be some resistance here. It's a psychological level and how we... Um, how we stall at this resistance is going to tell us how if we're going to go up higher or if we need to um, be a little more cautious. So we're just watching to see how the market reacts at these levels. So if you missed your entry, which you should have had in either the, uh, the 6th or the 7th, right? We made a big move. Wait for a little bit of a dip. Wait for a little bit of a tiny a uh, pullback and on the spy chart here um i am i have put it put an anchored view app on the open of this candle so that could be one possible level of support um here's our our low of the day um we also want to see maybe half of this move preserved so maybe if i go into an m30 chart let's look at this here yeah so i mean this is like a massive move up over here so probably some sort of compression and maybe we form a bit of a double low. Um, and I think honestly, if we can hold 595 pretty well, 595 is the best bullish case. If I go back to that anchored view app, I just like to have a different color. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's coming up at 594, kind of flattening out. So I think if we can hold that level, preserve most of these gains here, that'll be pretty bullish. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking for on the next maybe, I don't know, one, two, three days. That's sort of my outlook here. Today on the intraday chart, we got a gap up. We see some sub organization. It's not a ton of organization because of these wicks and these tails but there's a lot of consecutive red candles. So that is mildly bearish. We preserve about half of this gap over here, right? Then we try to poke up higher, slap down, poke up higher, slap down, right? So there's a lot of selling pressure coming up over here. And then buyers are slowly losing faith in the bid. And then we get the sell-off and the acceleration ending with this bullish bearish, or I guess this bullish engulfing candle. Uh, market is bouncing over here and now it's just kind of flagging. It's finding some support. Um, looks like around the close of yesterday, there's a little bit of back and forth chop. Let's see if this is coming into play. It looks like it is. Yep. So the view out from the prior day. Okay. We're kind of chopping around that level over here. So any partners who buy it earlier on the open, um, yeah, that's somewhat relevant level. Um, so we got this big move down over here and then we got this bounce up. So I think it's been a mildly bearish day, but nothing crazy, just not any sort of organization. Um, I thought this was the most likely scenario, something low probability, something mildly bearish. Um, there was a chance early in the day if we have some stacked heavy red candles, right? A lot of candles. If we got more consecutive candles like this 1040 candle, that tells us that, okay, we got to be careful, right? Even this move is a little bit more organized than this move because we cover more distance. There's not as many uh, tails and wicks on that candle. So now in this market sell-off, if we look at team, team held up pretty well. Right here is that sell off from uh, looks like let's call it 12 to 120. So here is 12, and then here is 120. So it held up pretty well, bounced up, and just kind of chopping around today. 
Um, so I'm considering adding to the position, but uh, I also want to see maybe one or two more days of spy over here because, oh, nice trade signal. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, because, right, we haven't quite made a new lower and lower kind of a test low high, or I guess a higher low, and then I move up higher. And I think that's going to take another day or two, or maybe even three to resolve, depending if this move down has another leg lower. So um, I think the stock is looking good, but I'm waiting for maybe the market to find some support before I add to that position. Because when I add, it's like I'm buying this stock again, right? So I want to add when, this, when the next round of cycles start to sync up. And the team is looking pretty well. We're still in the bullish cycle, but the SPY may be transitioning. We may be flattening out over here to a bearish cycle. And uh, you can see stock is slowly starting to form perhaps some sort of range here, um, maybe from 600 to 596, 597. So uh, we might be seeing a little bit of that range being formed, but time will tell. But this is kind of the first stages of, okay, well, look, move is getting a little bit weaker here. We're starting to sideline. Buyers and sellers started being paired off. So don't get super crazy. Okay, um, so that's the conclusion on team. Not going to wait on it too much. Uh, we got a couple alerts. So let's take a look at some strong stocks that are doing really well. FTNT. Oh, yeah. Beautiful buy signal in here. Um, some higher lows, grinding up higher. Uh, this is not a bad trade to take. Could be the little pick of the day here. Found some support uh, pretty much at 96.14. So yeah, I think I may take a small position on FTNT right now. I'm going to take it on this buy signal. And I'm going to take a small position here. So let's do, my stop is at around $2. Um, All right. Oh, uh, got to do this on trade ear. So we are going to go over there. Oh, sorry for this. Looks like my, I don't know if my order is going through. Well, anyways, uh, that may be the pick of the day. Um, we got a pretty fresh buy signal here. Other one I liked quite a bit was toast. So let's pull up this toast chart. Okay, so here is Toast. Let's look at this on the D1 chart. This is a big breakout from earnings. Uh, a little bit of a choppy stock, so you want to get it in on a dip. Um, this stock, you can see here, obviously big move. We held most, maybe half of that. I want to say most, but we held half of that for sure. Rallied up higher, came back, finding some support at this bottom trend line. Rallied up a little bit higher. And then I like how the stock has been moving sideways for most of the day, especially when the market started to sell off. Uh, we did get a little bit of selling pressure. Um, but 
the stock um, did find some nice support at VWAP for today. So um, could be a decent little overnight swing. Um, I wouldn't get too crazy with this. I'd take maybe a small size. Um, and what I was watching for, and it's going to be kind of hard to see here, but right, we kind of broke through this trend line. And then we're kind of testing this trend line here, just compressing a little bit. Um, but we're kind of getting through this level. And this is this kind of big wedge that's slowly, slowly uh, looking more and more bullish. And I know I'm kind of drawing a million trend lines and channels and stuff, but um, just to give a sense of, okay, like here's that big move, here's the pullback, and now we're just moving up higher and higher slowly. Um, right, there is a kind of a mild trend and we're getting in um, on a pullback. So uh, Toast is looking pretty good. I'm going to go back to uh, FTNT though. Because I do like this. Yeah, we got the fresh buy signal. So that was the trade that I was going to take. And we are going to buy uh, some shares of this. Um, for a little, yeah. All right, so that's going to be our trade of the day. FTNT has a little bit of a day trade long into the flows. I like this buy signal. Market has formed a base. We got a one OP bullish cross. So we have some time to the close here. And uh, I'll probably take a nice little, tiny little win on, on FTNT to uh, round out the day. So that is what I'm looking for. Um, that's going to be the pick of today's video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And, um, you know, we'll just keep a look at our, remember, we're looking for strong stocks. We're waiting for them, waiting for the market to pull back a little bit, waiting for those cycles to sync up. And uh, that is when we're going to get into the trades. We have Team on right now. We're looking at Amazon, Netflix, Reddit. Uh, Google is setting up very well. So, again, keep setting the alerts uh, on your stocks. Um, you know, keep monitoring them for when they start to get ready. And um, when you get those alerts, when you get those clear breaks, that's when you enter the trade. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll take a look at how these positions are doing in tomorrow's video.